Barry Smith, 24-hour plumber and kung fu guru, unblocking pipes and chakras since 1987. Huh. It's worth a try. I need to get that open. I wonder if I could use that. Just a tiny little piece of there. Hat stands outside. Slowly does it. Be calm.
Another hat stand? Huh. And yet, no one is wearing a hat. That super build needs a lot of bricks. When I get out of here, I'm gonna complain to the manufacturers of these torches. They last like 10 seconds. Be calm. So, were all the hats stolen? Oh wait! These are wooden practice dummies for karate. <laughs> Hat stands, you idiot chase. That torch only just burned long enough for me to get here.
Don't go too fast. Slowly does it. And I thought Dunby had bad breath. None of these guys look like a berry to me. Maybe there's a bell I have to ring for service. A gong! That's even better than a bell. I'm here to see Be Shh. Have a listen to this. Welcome to Learn Kung Fu While You Sleep. Relax. You are now completely relaxed. <laughs> the end. I know Kung Fu. Show me. And plumbing? you off against a few of my students. Look deep within yourself to find your hidden potential and you will triumph over your enemies. What also helps is throwing them around. Let's see what you can do, Chase. Come on. Not bad. Let's try upping the odds. Oh, that's going to come up nasty to you. Mates, come on. You made light work of that, Chase. You might not be so lucky this time. Empty your mind as you would a radiator before you place it. Ouch! Ah, oh, well, he knew the risks when he joined the dog job. All right! That's more like it. Oh, bruv! You're ruthless. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I hope you're good at arm wrestling. Your movements must flow like water through the copper pipes of your intent. I felt that. Try throwing them into each other. <laughs> Ouch! Ow. Ooh, now you're getting the hang of it. Throw another! Remember, the journey of 10,000 miles starts with a single phone call to a travel agent.
If a tree falls in a forest and lands on it, does it hurt? Yes, a lot. It really, really hurts a lot, actually. You'll find the guys dressed in brown a bit tougher. When fighting, your mind must be relaxed. Relaxed. Did you leave the oven on? It doesn't matter. It's electric. Relaxed. Your body must be... Just one more round to go, Chase. Ooh! He's going to be walking funny tomorrow. Not bad. You have done well. Take this belt with you as a sign of your skill. I can't accept this, Barry. Why? Oh, hello. Chase, are you busy? Does this have something to do with your favor for Ellie? Yes! Funny story, I volunteered to pick up the department's new state-of-the-art police truck for its unveiling at the station this afternoon. And you've been hijacked by some criminals, right? <laughs> wow! How did you know? Wait, what number am I thinking of? I'll give you a clue. It's six. The truck, Frank? Oh, yeah. Well, they drove it around for a while, but we've stopped now. Any idea where you are? Um, when they were driving, I heard a really loud foghorn, so I think we went past the docks. Docks, uh-huh. Then I remember it feeling like we went over a train track. Train track, okay. And when we stopped, I looked out the window and saw Krabby Cove. You! I'll be right there. Where? Are you in there, Frank? Yes! Is that you, Chase? Have you come to rescue me? Shh! Johnny! Go fetch the rest of the gang! Tell Mr. Chen we have company! Oh. I think the robbers are still around, so... BE QUIET! Are you having some kind of fight? Are you okay out there? I expect they've got reinforcements. Oh, my God. 
If you drive fast, we can still make the grand unveiling. I'll settle for getting out of here alive. And I thought I was unambitious. I hope we get back in time. I don't want to let Ellie down. One of the gang members mentioned someone called Chan. Any idea who that is, Frank? Ah, uh, probably Chan Chuang. He's pretty new to Lego City, but I heard he runs the biggest chop shop in town. I hope they taste nice. The chop shop is where they dismantle stolen vehicles, Frank. Oh, I guess I should cancel that reservation then. I think this Chan's connected to Rex Fury. Boring safety. I hope they aren't going to check in the back of here because a lot of stuff has fallen out of the cupboards. Stop following us! Good driving! Could you pull over on that corner up ahead, please? Do you mind if I drive it from here? I want to show Ellie that I can be trusted. All right. Enjoy getting your photo in the papers, Frank. Ha! I can't wait all day, Marion. I have to reopen the bridge this afternoon. Where is that truck? As if I'm interested in fame and fortune. <gasps> My public! Ah, here it comes, Mayor Gleason. <laughs> right on time. Here I am with our new truck! Good old Frank Honey delivers again! Coming through! Honey! Honey! <laughs> Sorry, madam. Hi there, Mayor Gleason. Hey, Chief. Dunby! Honey! Waffles! What are we doing? Well, what did you expect to happen with Frank driving it? This is your fault, Marion. Whoa. Chase, give me some good news. Have you found Rex Fury? Well... How could you find him? I mean, the Chief told you to stay off his case. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, that's not true at all. <laughs> it is it, Chase? No? Uh, that's right. I was just about to, to send him undercover in, uh, uh, Cheng Chuang's gang? I think he's linked to Rex. Uh, yes! <laughs> hmm. Well, that was broken. I got here. You hiding down here? You betcha. I'm staying as far from Dumby as possible. And I saw a spider. I have no idea how we're going to get out of this mess. Oh, it's easy. I expect my parents will pay for it. Like usual. Huh? You know they're really rich, right? They own that hotel in Paradise Sands. Oh. It all makes sense now. Anyway, 
Chase is going undercover. He'll need new clothes. Well, congratulations, Chase. <laughs> Transformation. I barely recognize you. Yeah. Who's that strange man in the garage? Right. I'm off to figure out how to get into Chan's gang. I hope they've reopened the bridge to the main island. Good luck with that, Chase. That was Chase? Okay, let's find a way to get into your gang, Mr. Chan. 